It's been insinuated that politicians, only politicians, only bloggers, only conspiracy theorists are disagreeing with you. I want to point out that I'm probably the only member of Congress that actually treated patients during the pandemic from the very beginning to the very end of the pandemic during night shifts in the ER. Thousands of patients during that time. And uh, in 2020, I was censored. My medical license was threatened because I disagreed with bureaucrats. Literally taken off the internet as a person who is treating patients with leading edge technologies, developing theories, but doing my very best, but being censored by the United States government for the first time stepping in and taking the place of medical professionals as the experts in healthcare. Any dissent surrounding COVID-19 treatments, mass mandates, and any public policy surrounding the pandemic was immediately labeled as anti-science. I watched as public health officials and politicians told my patients what treatment options were best for them, regardless of their comorbidities or their medical history. Despite my education and my training and my experience, my opinions were relegated to conspiracy and misinformation by so-called healthcare experts who had never treated a patient throughout the entire pandemic. This has been a black eye on the medicine and has highlighted why government should never never insert itself in between patients and their health care providers. The American people deserve to make medical decisions through conversations with their physicians rather than politically motivated mandates. Dr. Fauci, did you ever treat a patient for COVID during the pandemic? I was part of a team that was at the NIH that took care. We didn't take care of many of them. Okay, so not hands-on. Got it. Thank you. Why would I be criticized by a bureaucrat for doing my very best as a healthcare, this is a rhetorical question, but why? Why would the government, who has never treated a patient for COVID, you can read all the things you want, but you're not there, you're not seeing patients, you're not watching people die, intubating patients right there with that disease in your face, watching it happen, watching the development of this disease and actually learning from it. But I'm being told by bureaucrats what's right and wrong. And what's funny is everything I was censored on, I was... Proven to be right. Pretty crazy, isn't it? You said in an interview that you gave as part of an audiobook written by Michael Spector uh, that you believed an institutional should make it hard for people to, to live their lives so they'd feel pressured to get vaccinated. Could we re- re- uh, run the audio clip on that, please? Do you think can be done about it? I have to say that I don't see a big solution other than some sort of mandatory vaccination. I know federal officials don't like to use that term. Once people feel empowered and protected legally, you are going to have schools, universities, and colleges are going to say, you want to come to this college, buddy? You're going to get vaccinated. Lady, you're going to get vaccinated. Yeah. Big corporations like Amazon and Facebook and, and, and all of those others are going to say, you want to work for us, you get vaccinated. And it's been proven that when you make it difficult for people in their lives, they lose their ideological bullshit and they get vaccinated. Thank you. Are all objections to COVID vaccinations ideological bullshit, Dr. Pauci? No, they're not, and that's not what I was referring to. Well, in reference to making it hard for people to get education, traveling, working, I'd say it very much was in context. And I take great offense to this. Miss Allison Williams testified before this committee about losing her job because she sought an exemption for ESPN's vaccine mandate, which came from recommendations from bureaucrats like yourself. She and her husband were actively working with a fertility expert, a physician, on how to get pregnant and agreed with the premise that she was young, healthy, wanted to get pregnant, and shouldn't get the vaccination for medical purposes. But she was fired because you made it hard, just like you said in your statement, because you didn't want to make sure that the ideological bullshit got in the way of her working, of living her life, of making a medical decision with her healthcare professional. I think America should take great offense to this. That's exactly what you meant when you said making it hard for people to live without getting a vaccination. You affected people's ability to work, travel, be educated, to actually flourish in American society, to self-determine as we're all given God-given rights. Shame on you. Dr. Fauci, you've become Dr. Fear. Americans do not hate science. 
I don't hate science. The American people hate having their freedoms taken from them. You inspired and created fear through mass mandates, school closures, vaccine mandates that have destroyed the American people's trust in our public health institutions. This fear you created will continue to have ripple effects over generations to come. You have already seen its effects in education, in the economy, and everything else. Quite frankly, you said, if you, agree, if you disagree with me, you disagree with science. Dr. Fauci, I disagree with you because I disagree with fear. And with that, I yield.